Hi there folks and welcome back to Wear Gun Reporter. My name is Paul Capello. For today's show we're going to take a look at an action pistol that many people would say has a lot going for it in the looks department. But what about the performance of this BB repeater from Umarex? Does it have what it takes to live up to its legendary trademark? Well, that's what we're here to find out. Let's take a closer look at the Colt Special Combat. Well, there's no doubt about it. If you like shiny parts on your 1911 type pistols, you're gonna love this semi-automatic 17 caliber Colt Special Combat. The pistol is just over 8.5 inches long, has a 5 inch smoothbore barrel, and weighs in at just over 2 pounds. Although this single and double action pistol doesn't have a blowback feature, you can pull the slide to cock the hammer, and even lock it up if you want to. The Colt has a manual safety, and the grip safety on the beaver tail is non-functional, but it adds a realistic look and feel. The recessed barrel, chromed out ejection port, and the cocking serrations on the slide are also a nice touch. The checkered grip panels have a burled walnut appearance, and to my surprise, they're both removable. The 19 round magazine and CO2 holder is made from metal, and is incorporated into one unit, and as it should, it drops free from the well when you press the release button. In my opinion, this type of combo unit makes action pistols feel more balanced in the hand. The front sight is fixed, but I'm glad they put a white painted dot on it for better target acquisition. The rear sight is adjustable for both windage and elevation by using a slotted screwdriver. You can't put a scope on this version of the Special Combat, but there is a tactical rail on the frame with plenty of room for a flashlight or laser. Alright, let's go ahead and try something. Let's navigate over to the Colt website. We'll go under Pistols. Now here we have a Colt Special Combat Government, which is different than our CO2 replica. There are some similarities. We have the commander style hammer, and also the option of the Bomar rear sight. And boy, it sure would be nice to have this skeletonized trigger on our model. But if we go over to, let's say, yeah, here it is, the Colt Railgun, this has some really close similarities to our CO2 replica. We have the serrations on the slide in the front and on the rear, and we also have this tactical rail on the bottom. Now this one is only available with the Novak sight, but as you can see, it does have the commander style hammer, the grip safety, very cool. I like the fact that Umrex took some liberties with their design and sort of combined a couple of different pistols here. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back to our pistol. For the Crony testing, I used RWS match grade BBs with an average weight of 5.4 grains that I sorted using an electronic grain scale. The advertised velocity is 400 feet per second and I did exceed that during the first four shots. After that, the numbers dropped into the high 300s as the CO2 and the gun's valve began to cool. My results were a low of 383 feet per second, a high of 421, an average of 400 feet per second, an extreme spread of 38.25 feet per second, and a standard deviation of 15.42 feet per second. I have a silent pellet trap I made from an electrical box and about a dozen bars of duck seal putty. I placed it out to 25 feet and pinned a reactive target to it. My first test was at the bench and I was relaxed after practicing some breathing exercises and a few minutes of quiet meditation. I decided to shoot for accuracy at the bench and offhand using double action, despite the really heavy trigger pull. I do have strong hands, and I prefer to stay focused on my aim point and body position. The trigger on the Colt Special Combat is large and has quite a hook shape to it, which increases the length of pull. 
If you have small hands, you're going to find single action a lot easier. In fact, the travel is so long and heavy in double action, it maxed out my pull gauge, which can only read 12 pounds and under. I tested the trigger in single action, and I got an average of 5 pounds, 3.5 ounces after 5 pulls. Like many CO2 action pistols, the Colt is backyard and neighbor friendly. I was only able to reach a maximum of 97 decibels in my test. This number would of course seem high if it was a long, sustained sound, but you could compare the pistol to a single hand clap outdoors at approximately 5 feet away. Well, the Colt Combat Special definitely does have good performance once you tame that heavy double action trigger pull. And I got about 90 accurate shots out of a single CO2 cartridge in my test, which is more than you would get if it was a blowback action pistol. Getting back to that double action trigger, yes, I wish it was a little bit lighter. And also, I wish it had a skeletonized trigger, which is more in keeping with the 1911 style. The Colt Special Combat does have plenty of metal parts, and it's a heavy pistol. It has a metal slide, a metal frame, metal trigger, metal safety, metal hammer, metal slide lockup mechanism. The only plastic parts really are the grips. The Colt Special Combat is definitely a unique action pistol that I think deserves a place in your collection. For Airgun Reporter, my name is Paul Capello. Until next time, shoot safe and have fun. Please remember folks, air guns are not toys. Even the smallest calibers can cause serious harm if not used properly. And you should never, under any circumstance, point an air gun at another person. Parents, if you teach your children to shoot responsibly, they will have a lifetime of air gun enjoyment.